Starts to apply the chokehold. McGregor's in trouble. McGregor's in trouble. And McGregor taps. The fight is over. Khabib, an obvious celebration. He'll retain the championship belt. Now he jumps the ring. Oh, and now there's a fight in the crowd. Khabib jumps over the ring. There's a fight in the crowd. The fans are going crazy. Now there's a fight in the ring. McGregor takes a left, a right, a left. Oh, boy. It looks like some of Khabib's people have jumped into the ring. And there's fights all over the place, folks. Khabib will win and retain the belt, but now we have fights in the ring and outside of the ring as officials try to get this thing under control. Wow! I can't believe what I'm seeing. McGregor taps. He taps out to Khabib. Khabib celebrates, throws his mouthpiece, jumps over the ring, and starts to fight with fans in the crowd. We'll get more information on that later, but that's the situation. Officials are separating everyone now. What up, what up, what up? This your boy, Chris Cross 304, checking in for the 24th edition here of the community. And that's right, UFC is the topic of discussion for most of today's show because it's going down this Saturday night. Nganu versus Dos Santos in the heavyweight division, the number two versus the number three fighter. It's going to be exciting. UFC Minneapolis this Saturday night. Prelims at 6 p.m. Your main card at 9 p.m. And this is, of course, Eastern Standard Time. So the question is, who's going to win this fight? How will this fight uh, shape up? How is it going to go down? You know, these are two big guys. And, of course, it's the main event. The winner will likely get a championship fight next against either Miocic or DC, Daniel Cormier, whoever wins that fight. So this is a big fight this Saturday night. And all eyes should be on UFC Minneapolis. And it should be a tough situation because this is going to be a five-round fight if it goes a distance. And that's tough for two big guys like this. Someone is going to run out of gas. And it's very unlikely that this fight will go five rounds. But if it does, that's going to be a tough situation, tough situation for two heavyweight fighters. But yesterday was a media scrum. They caught up with Francis Ngannou. We're going to listen to some clips of what he had to say uh, leading up to this fight. So let's get to it. Uh, Yes, we think about it, but it didn't take uh, that long because it was just like one one week uh, earlier and um, no change, you know, so we agreed the fight. So Ngannou just basically opened up uh, the media scrum. They're talking about he's ready to fight. He's ready to get it on. Um, and he'll go on to talk about, you know, the fight being five rounds and how he doesn't think it will go that long, uh, but you have to prepare your body for that. He'll talk about uh, how training affects the fight and what percentage of training matters in the fight compared to getting your body uh, ready in the pre-fight. Uh, I don't think, anyway, I don't think this fight is going to go to five rounds. And uh, at that time, we still have time to adjust to everything, you know, so uh, you will forget. So Nganu, you know, just like I was saying moments ago, doesn't he think this round, this fight will go five rounds? And I hope that doesn't mean he's not prepared for it um, because, you know, a lot of times you don't think it's going to go the distance, but neither guy falls uh, and it could go five rounds. But a lot of times when these heavyweight fights are three rounds, they don't always go three rounds. So to think it'll go five rounds, uh, you know, is tough to predict. And you got to be uh, thinking if you're Nganu that someone's going to get knocked out, tapped out, submitted whatever it may be so it's very unlikely to go five rounds but you got to prepare your body and I'm sure both uh, Dos Santos and Nganu uh, have prepared their bodies well for this fight more so than any other fight they faced in the past 
Yes, I called for this fight a very long time ago. Then uh, actually uh, last uh, 2017, I was supposed to fight him in the UFC 215. Then uh, we get some kind of some issues. It didn't happen. Then when they t tell me about, they tell me about it again. So they were, yeah, it's true. I mean, obviously he's telling you there, but they were going to fight in the past UFC 215. Uh, but leading up to the fight, there were issues that led to. Uh, the cancellation, it never happened. And uh, both fighters went on their way um, and have now worked their way to number two and number three ranking in the world for UFC heavyweight. And, and now there's going to be a clash because Steve Miocic and Daniel Cormier, who are the champion and number one contender, are going to fight. So the loser of that fight will fall and the winner of this fight between Ngannou and Dos Santos will likely be the number one contender and a title fight will be set up. So this is going to be a serious fight for both fighters. I mean, you win, you're the number one contender most likely. I mean, there's a case if DC loses that he remains a number one contender, but he will likely retire in the event of a loss. He might even retire in the event of a win. But if you lose this fight and you're the number two or three ranked fighter, you're going to drop to four or five and then have to spend a good year getting back to uh, title contention. So Ngannou continues to go on. Uh, I think I'm the best, best boxer in heavyweight division. And uh, I'm going to prove it uh, on the 29th because, yes, he's a very good boxer, but I have to show that I'm better, I'm best than him. So Ngannou saying there that he's the best boxer. I mean, they're asking him, do you think uh, Dos Santos is the best boxer? And, of course, Ngannou is going to say, no, I'm the best boxer. And Dos Santos... Uh, a black belt or claims to be and I, Ngannou talked a little bit about that and how he didn't believe uh, that he was a black belt uh, but anyway Ngannou goes on he should be I mean uh, I was expecting title fight before so uh, since they didn't give me that and uh, we are number tr I'm number two he's number three so um, and the first and champ they're fighting so I think the winner of this fight will take the winner of that one do you, do you worry? So there you have it. Uh, the winner of this fight should get the uh, title fight next. I mean, no question about it, especially when the champion and number one contender are fighting uh, in a separate event. Uh, you know, you got to think that the winner of this fight is going to get uh, a championship fight. No questions asked. It's very tough because uh, despite everything, I don't. I think this uh, that this fight going to be. Um, it's not going to be like a first one, you know, it's not going to be the, in the first round knockout. This fight might last more than one round and it's going to be uh, very tough for both of them. Yep, so it should be a tough fight. Uh, you know, Ngannou saying it'll last more than one round, but he doesn't think it'll go five. So anywhere between the second, third and fourth round, someone's going to get knocked out or run out of gas or whatever. Uh, have you and you just saw a fight recently between Henry Cejudo and Marlon Moraes where Marlon Moraes was kicking butt in the first two rounds but simply began to run out of gas in the third round and it cost him so you got to have your body ready uh, when you know it's five rounds that could affect the way you fight you may not come out with the same energy level in, in round one that you would in a three rounder and guess what that could get you knocked out so it's a tricky uh, situation here and how to come out in a fight like this because five rounds is in the back of your head but realistically, it probably won't go that far. Uh, you know, it's all. It's, it wasn't just about like training and everything. You know, training for this sport is most, I would say, forty percent of the fight, and uh, the rest is how you prepare your fight. You know, everything around that's something very important. That uh, that's some fact that I didn't know how to handle it. And, and that's a shocking statement to me uh, from a guy like Francis Ngannou, number two heavyweight contender in the world. The training is only 40% of the fight, in his opinion. You know, and, and if you don't know anything about fighting, or maybe you do and you're just listening in, you got to believe that, I mean, uh, training you would think is like 90% of the fight. And then just the two days before, you know, getting on the, on the scale, getting your weight, you know, eating the right foods, drinking enough fluids, getting your body ready is another 10%. But instead, he's saying it's 40-60. Uh, and that's really, you know, that's a headliner to me that only 40% comes uh, from training and the other 60% comes from preparing your body uh, in the week leading up to the event, which, you know, make no mistake, is very important. Uh, but as a, a former coach, especially... Uh, in high school football, you know, it seemed like a lot of times the training uh, that went in, on in the off season would make it break your team. And of course, you got to get ready the week of and make sure everyone's on the same page, knows the plays, 
you know, you look sound and things like that, but that's just kind of, uh, uh, just cleaning up the mattress. If you, if you will, like everything is art, everything, all the work has been done and now you're just kind of perfecting everything. Uh, so to hear 40, 60 is a shocker, but in his opinion in fighting, that's the way it is. Uh, first of all, I don't believe that Juju is a black belt. No. Yes. Uh, I don't believe those Santos Juju is a black belt. I don't know where he's from, but <laughs> you know, I don't believe that. And I don't mind that at all. <laughs> so he's saying, they're asking him if, you know, about Dos Santos being a black belt. He, he doesn't even believe he's a, a black belt, which that's going to make Dos Santos pissed off. But that's what he's saying, that he doesn't believe that Dos Santos is a black belt. Uh, he just claims to be one. So that's, you know, that's, uh, to me, very funny because I'm sure he is a black belt. It's hard to just claim to be a black belt because people will come out and obviously say you're not. There's very few black belts in the world. Uh, but I guess in terms of Francis Ngannou, he does, that's not going to affect him, whether Dos Santos uh, is a black belt or not. But there you have it. Francis Ngannou, yesterday's media scrum, you know, is talking a little bit about the fight. Obviously a good fighter, has won a lot of fights, uh, and is prepared to fight for the championship should uh, he win this fight. But it's going to be no easy match against Dos Santos, and either fighter uh, can win. And again, that's why it's so exciting, such a good event. UFC Minneapolis, last week you had UFC Greenville, a little bit exciting. You had a number 5 versus number 12, and the number 12 shocked the number 5 uh, when Chan Sung Jung, uh, the Korean zombie, knocked out uh, Renato Moicano. Uh, that was a shocker, but this one is just much bigger. You have three different fights, uh, two of them specifically, the co-main event and the main event, both are ranked fighters. And then in fight number three, you got one ranked fighter, and we'll talk about that when we come back for segment two. Uh, but all eyes uh, will certainly uh, be on UFC Minneapolis this uh, Saturday night. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with you here on the community. It's your boy Chris Cross through We'll be right back with segment two. Stay tuned. McGregor, beating bitches down like it's whatever. Getting my money always, forever. He's gonna win, let's get it together. Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor, beating bitches down like it's whatever. Getting my money always, forever. He's gonna win, let's get it together. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might Saying, step up, step up, step up. wanna fight? Huh? Hold, up. Hold, up, hold up, think twice ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless no abandon Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, Got hit in the head with a baseball bat Thinking I'm so dizzy, where the hell am I at? Black and white saying you just been attacked by Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together Drop it, drop it, drop it like it's hot Think they got a chance, believe it or not no. Talking mad stuff, looking so confident But you was only here for the paycheck and the rent what? McGregor don't need a check, he's so rich Heck, got the money so fast it broke your neck yep. They live on set, pay the bill, I'm in debt Millions on the line, he gon' win, raise the bet Do it. Yeah, 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 I won I'm going to the club for some fun, fun, fun. Yes, we won Time to go out for some fun, thanks to Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together It's time for him to fight Lock him in a cage tonight it's time for him to fight Win it all costs tonight It's time for him to fight Lock him in a cage tonight It's time for him to fight Win it all costs tonight yeah. Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together 
Connor McGregor, Connor McGregor Beating bitches down like it's whatever Getting my money always, forever He's gonna win, let's get it together What up, what up, this your boy Criss Cross 304, checking in, and you're listening to the community where we keep you entertained throughout the game. Join us live for UFC 239, Saturday, July 6th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is going to be one you're not going to want to miss, and it could go down as the best UFC event of all time. It's shaping up that way. Listen to the main events. John Jones. Always a great headliner, 24 and 1, versus Thiago Santos, 21 and 6. In your co-main event, Amanda Nunez, 17 and 4, versus Holly Holm, 12 and 4, for the bantamweight championship. In fight three, in a light heavyweight bout, Jan Blakowski versus Luke Rockhold. That will be a big one. Luke Rockhold, 16 and 4, Blakowskiewicz, 23 and 8. Fight four, heavyweight fight. Junior Dos Santos, 21 and five, versus Francis Ngannou, 13 and three. That will be a blockbuster fight. Fight five, Jorge Masvidal, 33 and 13, versus your boy, Ben Askren, undefeated, 19 and 0. It does not get better than that. Again, join us live Saturday, July 6th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. We will host UFC 239. This is your boy Criss Cross 304. And you're listening live to the community where we keep you entertained throughout the game. Holla back. Trump for president. Now President Trump. Yeah, we back again. I told you I was coming. I told you Trump for president wasn't the only one. We back with another one. Here we go, baby. Go Trump, go Trump. We like a president that's so pumped. Up, up, everybody up. Look at the crowd, it's about to erupt. Russia, Russia cries from afar. Never heard of them until Trump went hard. Listen up. No divisions from within. We just spit in ideas as we head for the win. Christian Holmes. Stand up, speak again, come together right now, progress from within, unemployment down low, stock market on a road, if you ain't down with Trump, then you just so cold. President Trump, President Trump, came into office and the market went up, President Trump, President Trump, quit your crying cause the wall going up, President Trump. President Trump went to the rally, it was all the way up. President Trump. Ooh, President Trump, Trump, baby. Trump 2020, the election is just around the corner. I know what you're thinking, it's only 2019, but the election is just around the corner. This is the season when everyone's declaring who's running. The Democrats probably got 50 people running for president. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But, you know, I'm, I'm voting for Trump regardless of who's on the other end. He's done a great job with the economy. The stock market is booming. And I'm not saying it's going to continue that way, but he's made some moves to make it that way. But listen, this is a sports show. I'm not going to get lost in the politics, but I just get excited sometimes when I hear that song. Because I wrote that song because I'm very up and positive on Trump. So go Trump. But anyway, listen, let's get back to UFC Minneapolis. It's going down this Saturday night. Let's look at... The main event card. The prelims start at 6 p.m. And here the main event will start at 9 p.m. Eastern. In the first fight, well, really this will be fight number six as we work our way down uh, to fight number one. You have in a light heavyweight matchup, Alonzo Menefield versus Paul Craig. Menefield 8-0, Craig 11-3. So that will kick off the main event. Should be a good one. Then you have two lightweight fights in a row. Not light heavyweight, but lightweight. Drew Dauber, 20-9 versus Marco Polo. That's a pretty cool name, right? Marco Polo. (laughs) Those were the days in the pool. Anyway, Marco Polo Reyes, 8-5. Then you have Roosevelt Roberts, an up-and-coming 
fighter, 8-0 and oh in the lightweight division, takes on Vince Pichel, 11-2. And, and if you're going to get ranked and you're Roosevelt Roberts, you got to keep winning because it usually takes guys 10, 11, 12 wins before they even start getting noticed and taken seriously. But when you're 8-0, oh, if you can win this and move to 9-0, and oh, it's kind of hard uh, not to notice you. So he's on the cusp of being ranked. Then in fight number three, this is a welterweight fight between Damian Maya, 26 and 9. He's ranked in the welterweight division versus Anthony Rocco Martin, 16 and 4. So that will be a great fight leading into your co main events. And in the flyweight division, your co main event, two good fighters, both highly ranked in the flyweight division. Drusir Formiga, 23 and 5, versus Joseph Benavidez, 27 and 5. I mean, you got a 23 and 5 guy versus a 27 and 5 guy. Two experienced fighters uh, with multiple, obviously 20 wins, 50 combined wins between these two fighters. So this fight is going to be a blockbuster fight, and it's going to lead into the heavyweight fight between Francis Ngannou, number two in the heavyweight division, versus Junior Dos Santos, number three. And Ganu 13 and 3, Dos Santos 21 and 5, and this fight can go either way. And Ganu still young, only 16 fights in, but ranked number two, and that tells you how serious uh, he is as a fighter in this heavyweight division. This will be taking place at the Target Center uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And one thing I didn't realize. Uh, is this fight will be on ESPN, not even on ESPN Plus. So you're going to be able to see this thing uh, on regular TV, believe it or not, on ESPN. The whole thing is going down basically from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. So a big deal here uh, on Saturday night, UFC Minneapolis, it's going down. That's the situation today. That's what's happening. The show is basically all dedicated to... UFC Minneapolis, and of course, we'll also be posting our UFC pre-fight party, which is usually our Friday show, especially on weeks uh, where uh, you have a UFC event on Saturday, which is almost every Saturday, unless there's like an NBA Finals going on, or Stanley Cup Final, or you know, NCAA Basketball, or maybe the World Series, or NFL Playoffs, or whatever, but for the most part, UFC is every Saturday. This is one of your smaller fights, if there's anything small about it. Uh, and then you have your UFC 239, 240, all those coming up. UFC 239 next Saturday, Jones, John Jones, I know you heard that name, light heavyweight champion versus Thiago Santos. And you heard in the preview prior to this segment that Francis Ngannou and Junior Dos Santos were the number four fight, and they were. And that's before uh, Tyrone Woodley and Lawler had to bow out uh, due to an inju injury uh, uh, via Tyrone Woodley. And then they move that from the number four fight at UFC 239 to the headliner here at UFC uh, Minneapolis. But that's our show today. So stay tuned tomorrow for the UFC pre-fight party. You're not going to want to miss it. More on the interview from Nganu in the pre-fight party. Uh, you'll hear other uh, things like last week's fight at UFC Greenville. Just catching you up on what's going on in the world of UFC. And of course, there'll always be music to keep the party live and in effect, it's your boy Criss Cross 304, and you're listening to the community over and out. Holla back. Make your mind up. Want to raise your kids? Then you better wake up. Make your mind up. Make your mind up. Want to see your kids? Then you better speak up. The law took my daughter, said get a second job. Now she's being raised by two selfish broads who capitalized off me then tried to make me stop. The game so twisted, gotta sound the alarm. Father dismissed, but I'm trying to stay calm. Emotion explosion, say atomic bomb. They got my little girl, but the gun's so strong. I can't even think this shit's so wrong. Let me see my girl before I tear stuff up. I only have one wish to see her grow up. Drive across town just to be stood up. I'm tired of the shit, it's so fucked up. 
can't lose control I gotta stay strong I need to see my daughter It's been so long They took a right from me So I wrote this song The system screwed up I ain't did nothing wrong I have a right to raise my daughter Cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter Constitution says so I have a right Yeah that's my right I have a right Yeah that's my right I have a right to raise my daughter Cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter Constitution says so I have a right Yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right Back the hell up, cause we wanna raise our children I'm speaking for the men who you locked up in prison They guilty of a crime, called impregnating women Tried to start a family, now they caught in the system Let them out of prison, making babies ain't a crime Fatherlessness, just to make a dime Men in jail, why you sipping on wine? What about the kids, they'll be just fine Where is my father, have you seen him anywhere? I heard he ran away, and just don't care Raised by one parent, please don't stare Child support, so unfair I'd rather have my dad, but instead you send a bill Money can't raise him, now they shoot to kill Stand right there, don't move, stay still Count all the money and get your fill I have a right to raise my daughter, cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter, Constitution says so I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right to raise my daughter, cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter, Constitution says so I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right Make your mind up, make your mind up Wanna raise your kids, then you better wake up Make your mind up, make your mind up Wanna raise your kids, then you better speak up Make your mind up, make your mind up Wanna raise your kids, then you better wake up Make your mind up, make your mind up Wanna see your kids, then you better speak up Make your mind up, make your mind up Wanna raise your kids, then you better wake up Make your mind up Make your mind up, wanna see your kids, then you better speak up. Make your mind up, make your mind up, wanna raise your kids, then you better wake up. Make your mind up, make your mind up, wanna see your kids, then you better speak up. Oh, a big punch by the Korean zombie! Moikano's down! Can he hold on? And the fight is over. Wow. Goodness gracious. I never saw that coming. I'll be honest. I was saying before this fight started that Renato Moicano is going to win this fight. No problem. And the Korean zombie on the first punch. Flush to the face. Moicano goes right to the ground. And he was dazed and confused. What up, what up? This your boy Crisscross 304 checking in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel today. Live UFC events each and every Saturday. Follow our playlists for each UFC event, which includes the face-offs and live updates, as well as interviews leading up to each event. Also, follow us daily as we live stream baseball, events MLB to be exact also football NFL college football and basketball by way of the NBA and the NCAA follow our playlists which we are well known for like home run hitters dunk dynasty and fights and ejections you'll be sure to like those make sure you subscribe so when new videos are posted you see them it's your boy Chris Cross 304. Let's get back to it. Peace. This is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of interest. And this is the venture, the community of